Well, some persistent programmers have really developed a taste for takeaway pizza. In fact, thanks to their product testing, the future of pizza delivery could soon be changing. Ford and Domino's have now teamed up in the United States to test self-driving pizza cars in the state of Michigan. Here's what it's all about. Ford and Domino's Pizza are testing self-driving delivery cars to better understand how customers respond to and interact with autonomous vehicles. Over the next few weeks, randomly selected Domino's customers can accept pizza deliveries from the research vehicles. Due to regulations regarding commercial use of self-driving vehicles, the car will not drive itself but the windows will be dark enough where customers cannot see them instead. A Ford safety engineer with other researchers on board will drive the delivery cars. Researchers are working on the technology because it is not yet ready to be rolled out on public streets. Customers can take part in the test through the Domino's Pizza app. They will get a unique code that matches the last four digits of their phone number. That will unlock the heatwave compartment, a box that keeps the pizzas warm in the back of the car. For the end customer, information will be announced through touch screens and speakers on the car. The president of Domino's USA says the last 50 feet of the delivery experience is where we get the majority of questions from and we want to know what people think about this type of delivery. As the new pizza delivery method is tested out, researchers will review things like how people are willing to come out to pick up their orders, how will they approach the car, how will they interact with the screen outside, will robots scare them to leave the house. Another big question is delivery time. Will this be faster or slower than the current delivery method involving a driver? full-scale launch is not expected for at least another few years. Ford, like many other car makers, has invested heavily in autonomous technology to try and roll out self-driving cars by 2021. This is not Domino's first stint with self-driving cars. Domino's has also experimented with dedicated pizza delivery vehicles with General Motors in the past. As they say, the proof in the pudding lies in the eating. But in this case, how much will customers enjoy piping hot pizzas without a human interaction? Only time will tell. Your report, we on. All right, to get perspective on this story, let's bring in brand and strategy expert Harish Bajor from Bengaluru. Harish, you know, uh, we've talked about technology, we've talked about pizzas, but never thought the day would come where both of those would be integrated, self-driving cars to deliver your pizza. The pros and the cons, at least uh, your thoughts initially. Well, first of all, I think it's a great thing for both the parties, whether it's Ford and Domino's, because if nothing else, it creates a bit of a noise. And people are saying that, you know, people, these guys are at the edge of cutting edge technology. Uh, but if you really look at, uh, you know, pizzas, I think, you know, uh, experiments have happened with drones um, and drones are not considered so safe anymore. And I think what cannot be delivered by air is now going to be delivered by road, by autonomous vehicles. I think it's a bit far away. I think it'll take time. And the personalization element of the pizza delivery boy, the ubiquitous uh, pizza delivery boy, uh, the, the guy who created myths, that's going to remain for a period of time, I think. And I think, Arish, it also brings about a bigger question. You touched about drones as well. But, for example, if something is wrong, if the pizza isn't, you've got the right topping, perhaps, or, you know, how much, I mean, will a company like Domino's really save up? I mean, it's interesting to see this merger, this technology between Ford and Domino's, but is it really about saving money? It looks like at this point they want to just test the customers to see if they can use this touch screen to perhaps uh, get a pizza from that hot compartment without having any face-to-face -face interaction. I mean, obviously saving on tip, perhaps, but is it really going to work? What do you think? Well, uh, you know, these things are going to work slowly. Uh, for instance, the static store, if you really look at Amazon Go, and if you really look at all the efforts that happen in Japan uh, with, the, with the unmanned store, what is it all about? It's about saving costs. It's about uh, speed. It's about reliability. It's about ensuring that people are not important anymore. It's the system silly. It's not the people. And I think that's exactly what's happening out here. The driverless car is a movement towards that. AI and AR combining together to create stuff like this, totally the way to go, I think, because over a period of time, people are becoming very, very expensive. And the future is digital. And I think in a digital world, uh, people uh, are not going to be as important as they were in the past.
All right. Well, I guess we mentioned it's not just about the uh, self-driving cars. We've also heard about companies experimenting with drones. In fact, last year in New Zealand, a pizza chain even announced plans to become the world's first company to offer a commercial, look at that, drone, a drone delivery service to get your pizza. So, of course, you have Domino's Pizza, many other brands perhaps uh, trying that, conducting a demonstration to deliver a drone in New Zealand's Auckland uh, last year. Uh, some of the world's biggest companies, uh, Amazon, Google, are all planning on making and using drones as well. Uh, it's been tested in many countries, uh, the United States, Britain, Australia, as well as New Zealand, allowing for a relaxation in the laws. But the point is, how convenient will that concept for automation be, as in this case of self-driving pizza? Let me really, bring, uh, really quickly bring in Harish uh, back into the conversation in India. Let's bring it back home. Could this be a reality? And if so, when? Drone pizza, self-driving cars to get your pizza or whatever you want. Do you anticipate this perhaps happening in India at some point down the road? Or are we not there just yet? Well, uh, well you know, being tested anecdotally, I think that can happen anytime. But otherwise, give us a window time of 20 years. I don't think it will happen in India. In fact, you know, the transport minister of the country has already said that driverless cars will not be allowed in India. And if you don't allow driverless cars, because driverless cars rob people of jobs, right. uh, can you imagine, uh, you know, pizza is getting delivered this way. I don't think it will happen not too soon. All right, so I guess for now we'll just have to, me and you will have to go to our favorite pizza store, pick up that pizza, and enjoy the pizza for now. But thank you so much, Harish, for your discussion and your viewpoints on this. That does it for this special discussion, our report about technology and digitalization. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Archit Sashadri. You can track all of our stories in our digital, mobile, and social media platforms. Good night.